my, my appreciation of what we would call Bethlehem theology probably first came through my college pastor in Wheaton, Illinois, who was very much overflowing with Christian hedonism. I remember him preaching through Philippians, that joy-packed epistle, and I, I'd have been a part of some good churches, but I hadn't heard preaching week in and week out quite like that. So that set me on a course uh, to, one, keep coming back to that church, uh, but then to a course of, of study and so forth. Along the way, I heard John Piper for the first time at the Moody Conference for Pastors, got on the train, went down to Chicago with some friends, and, and he preached about how salvation is a community project, something from Hebrews 3. It was, it was riveting. And along the way, I read Desiring God, and then I read it with a small group of people that I was trying to mentor. Um, and then, you know, pr pretty soon after that, started going to the Desiring God or Bethlehem conferences, the national conferences, the pastors' conferences with groups from my church. And so, uh, I also met Tom Steller, who made a, a, a field visit to Wheaton College and got some time with him. And wow, I, I love John Piper and the, the preaching, but I really like this guy too. Um, I kind of want to be like him when I grow up. So then next time I went up, I stayed in his basement. And soon after that, started sitting in on his classes, working through Romans 9 through 11 in Greek and showing how it moves from rigorous exegesis to glorious exaltation in a big God 